Welcome to Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is here. He joins us now. There is so much to talk about the markets, inflation, the White House's new budget plan, um, TikTok. You just closed uh, the, the uh, capital infusion deal for uh, New York Community Bank Corp. Former Treasury Puck. Secretary is the founder and managing partner of Liberty Strategic Capital. I think we should start with TikTok because I think we're all trying to understand what's happening here, whether it should be banned, divested, or otherwise. And if it is divested, who may be a potential buyer? Well, you know, when I was Treasury Secretary, I chaired CFIUS, and CFIUS approved, and I had President Trump sign an order that TikTok had to be sold. And I continue to believe that. So I, I think the legislation should pass, and I, I think it should be sold. I understand the technology. It's a great business, and I'm going to put together a group to buy TikTok. You're trying to buy TikTok. I am, because this should be owned by a U.S. U.S. businesses. There's no way that the Chinese would ever let a U.S. company own something like this in China. You said, have you already put a group together? No, I'm, I'm, I'm working You're on exploring it. exploring a group. I, I've spoken to a bunch of people, but... Who, the, would, be, who would be part of your group? I, I can't tell that to you now, but we, uh, it, it would be, it would be a combination of investors, so there would be no one investor that controlled this. Me, and the, the issue is all about the technology. This needs to be controlled by U.S. Let me business. ask you a very practical question. If you talk to folks inside the world of TikTok themselves, they would suggest that it is almost impossible within a six-month time period uh, to truly divest it to another group that, frankly, isn't a Meta or a, a Google, if you will. Because the data for the for the for the users is in the U.S., but the algorithm and so much of the other operations are outside of the U.S. What do you know about, now that you've studied this business several years ago, and I imagine you continue to, how you would actually operationally do it? Well, let me first say, I, I don't think this should be controlled by any of the big U.S. tech companies. Um, I think there could be antitrust issues on that, and this should be something that's independent, so we have a real competitor, and users love it, so it shouldn't be shut down. Um, the technology, I, I won't go into all the details, but the app needs to be rebuilt in the U.S. It needs to be U.S. technology. I think there's a lot that could be done in, in six months, but I would work closely with the U.S. and with China. But do you think that the bill would need to get rewritten by the Senate, effectively, to give you more than six months? Is, is, is it a timing issue? Do you think? We I, I think a lot can be done in six months. It may take a little bit longer, but right. I think the bigger issue is this shouldn't be controlled by the Chinese. Is it still? is an issue for this to be on everybody's why? phone. Why? Explain why. What are the reasons? Um, you know, there are certain things I can talk about that are obvious, and there are certain things that I can't talk about that I had access to. But let's just say, when you have this app on everybody's phone, it has the ability to collect an awful lot of data. Can I ask a question about that, though? And this is the thing that I think nobody Nobody knows, and you may be one of the few people who does. Do you believe that the data that it is collecting today, both the data that's being collected and potentially certain things that are being pushed to the users, is being influenced um, and directed by the Chinese government today, or do you look at this as a prospective national security threat, meaning it, it has not been put into practice in any meaningful way right now, but the worry is that one day it could. Which is it? Well, I'm, I'm not going to comment on what's today, but I will comment. There's no question that on a forward basis, they have both the ability to influence the data and they have the ability to collect data, which is probably the bigger concern. But you're not going to comment on today because you can't do that without giving away things that you might know that others wouldn't? Uh, that, that, that's true. And also, I think kind of the issue today, again, I think the focus should be it should be sold. It should be controlled by a U.S. business. It's a great company. It would be terrible if it would shut down. Lots of users what, use what this. What do you think it'll do? And, and we need a competitor to, to, to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To the extent we care, what do you think it will do to the relationship in China? between the U.S. and China, to the extent that uh, there, you know, I, I try to put myself in the shoes of others to just try to think through the implications. I, I you know, think, you I think, think about a Chinese entrepreneur who builds something, builds something pretty great. If you don't think the Chinese government has already used it, um, which is an interesting question, and it could be used just prospectively, what does that say about how, Andrew, how we Andrew, as a country, a country should operate? And we are different than China, hopefully. There's a CFIUS order that's in effect that to sell this. 
So right. it's in effect. Biden put a pause on it. I think there's a general bipartisan agreement that shouldn't be controlled by the Chinese. I think the Chinese will be fine selling it so long as there's not a technology transfer along the way. Can and that's the art of the possible. Why, why do you think President Trump is now saying he signed that CFIUS um, bill, that, the CFIUS ruling that With you you. before him? Why do you think he's now saying that he doesn't think uh, TikTok should be sold or shut down? I, I think he doesn't want it shut down, but he because he's concerned about the power that that would create for Facebook. Um, I, I believe he, he would support a sale. He did support a sale. Um, you know, right. I'll, I'll call him up later and ask Wait. him, but I, I think the answer is... Have you spoken to him about it? Um, I have spoken to him, but I haven't spoken to him about this this week. But I believe he would support a sale. What I found interesting about his comments about the Facebook pieces, and I appreciate his perspective on that, meaning he doesn't want one to be more powerful than the other, but I would have thought that the national security risk, if it really is a risk, and that's right. why I keep asking the question, if that, that would be a red line, a hard line. It wouldn't matter whether you care about whether Facebook or somebody else was going to get more power or not if you actually believed that this was a, a true and present national security threat. There have threat. been times you have seen you know, Jeff I, Bezos. Or, and there are times where it almost looks personal sometimes with the former president, and everybody's got their own. Well, he might just a, express that's a rationalization defense of the, 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 the president's thinking. No, no, it's not. I, I'm saying you would normally be just write it off to, oh, he's just got it out for Zuckerberg. And that, that may well, he be might. true. That may be true. So but just say isn't, it. Isn't it. Well, if he has it out for Zuckerberg, do you, do you find that problematic? Security, national security takes a back, maybe takes a back seat to a personal I, grudge. I think the bigger issue is getting back to, I, I do believe it is a national security threat. I wouldn't have taken it to the president when I did with the CFIUS order. And I continue to believe it is today. So hopefully we get to a good outcome that we don't shut it down. Lots of people love this business. It's a great business. And hopefully we can find a solution where China will allow it to be sold without a technology transfer. What, do you think the president, former President Trump, would say that he would rather see it? If the Chinese say we're not going to sell it, how would he come down on this? If he doesn't want it shut down, but would like to see it potentially bought maybe by a group of American investors, where would he come I, down? I'm not going to speculate on that. I'll call him later and ask him. Okay. But uh, I, I think the first choice for everybody should be that it's sold. And I think the Chinese will agree to that as long as there's not a transfer of their critical technology, which I don't think we need in the U.S.